been boxing since I was, you know, six years old. I was started obviously with my dad in my hometown of West Chico. You know, my brother was just starting at that point. As a young guy, I felt like boxing was my calling. It was, it's what I love to do, and it's what I was best at. As a fighter that's been doing this for over 20 years, obviously injuries are, are unavoidable. After that, the medical fight, I realized that everything has a limit, and I felt like I was reaching mine. And the fact that I had injuries going into these fights, it just warmed me down a lot, and I just, I felt like I needed to take a break from it all. And, you know, hopefully let my mind disperse, let my body heal. I took this break wanting to be a father. Uh, I wanted to be a couch potato. I got to travel. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I got to announce. <laughs> You know, it's been fun. The road back has been challenging, but it's been fun as well. I don't know anything but boxing, so I missed it while I was away, but at the same time, I felt like it was very necessary. I missed all the, the feelings of, you know, the adrenaline, the anxiety, the tiredness, the soreness, everything. During the break, I got to stay close to my brother's career, and I mean, it's great to see him following my footsteps when, when it comes to that, and having my, my brother train alongside myself, is, it helps. We're very competitive, so we always try to outdo each other. Well, boxing is a very jealous sport. It's like a jealous girlfriend. You have to dedicate your everything to that person. If not, you know, stuff doesn't go right. So boxing is the same way. You have to dedicate your life to it. If not, it's not going to go very well. And, uh, well, now I'm back and now I'm ready.